What is going on guys? It's Jake. Today we are going to be unboxing Boom, you can't really see it. We're gonna be unboxing the brand new Roctavor R4 and Thorns X Minoboros M4 Kind of a mouthful. We're gonna be unboxing the double pack. I'm really excited to see how Roctavor R4 does because turbo bays have been kind of meh so far and I don't know, I'm kind of hype about this one. So, let's just get straight into the unboxing. And here you go, guys. Beyblade Burst Turbo, Sling Shock Double Pack, Thorns X Minoboros M4. Um, okay. And, wow, Roctavor R4. Just to do a little comparison, here is, of course, the Hasbro version, and here is Takara Tomy, the Japanese version, the original, and really, they look very similar, although these parts look, like, if you could tell, that looks a little bit different, and of course, you know, the Hasbro version does not have metal, it's all plastic. And then Wedge, big difference. Look at that massive difference guys, but anyways taking a look at the back just for a second We see the energy layer the disc the drivers or performance tip rather and just look at the stats stats overall pretty decent You have of course really good stamina and there's pretty decent weight too But everything else is of course really weak and on Minoboros uh, Eh, eh, eh Really guys, I don't know why, but Minoboros is kind of eh to me, like I really don't care too much about it, but anyways, I think it's time to get straight on to the unboxing, because look at that, it just wants to be opened. Okay, let's, let's tear this thing open, I'm really not going to worry about the packaging at all, because if I ruin it, it's, it's whatever, I really don't care about that much. Okay, so first we have the instruction... Get that out of here. Get that trash out of here. Instruct box trash. Throw it in the trash. Okay. So the first part we're going to look at is this wacky performance tip. Hasbro calls this TDO3S, but I honestly have no idea what, what tip this is for Takara Tomy. It looks so much different that I, I honestly can't recognize it and then this pushes in and you could twist it back and there we go I, I, what what next we have the oh, oh, the, the disc which is zero always love to get zero zero is a really really sick disc in my opinion it's really really heavy still one of the heaviest discs in the game I think it's number two or three right now but you know zero always a good disc to have and then finally guys let's get this out of there we have boom thorns x minoboros which is i guess because it has thorns right there um they're trying to make it a little bit different there is the qr code for you to scan onto the official beyblade burst app so let's uh let's put this bay together uh, let's see how good those slopes are, and they're nothing special <laughs> at all. Uh, I mean, right here isn't bad, but I mean, overall, it's it's definitely pretty loose. Not the best I've seen for sure. Okay, so let's uh, let's finally move on to Roctavor R4. We're gonna get the the performance tip out first, which is Wedge. And look at that. Does this have different modes? No way. Yeah. I don't think this has different modes, but I mean, look at it. This thing's huge. Just to compare, look at that. This thing is so much thicker, but it has a plastic tip instead of it being metal. So I wonder how that's going to, you know, affect performance at all, but that's a really big difference. Wow. Okay, now let's move on to the disc. We have 11, which is the same one that comes on Z Achilles A4. So, I mean, it's it's definitely not the best disc. It doesn't weigh that much at all. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. It's cool to have because it's, it's a disc, right? Now, guys, let's get the frame. Oh, wait, there is no frame. There's no frame. 
Yeah, uh, for some reason, Hasbro did not include Reach. Uh, Reach is the frame that came on the Takara Tomy version, but they did not include it here for some reason. I don't really know why, but let's just move on to the layer now. Here we go. First, scan that QR code, get that scanned up, put that into the Beyblade Burst app. But now, guys, let's look at this layer. Really? It, it looks pretty good. Oh, I thought there was a level chip for a second, but it was just going through. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look bad at all, but first things first, they removed the ability, which this didn't really do too much, but as you can see, the wings can kind of pop out when it's spinning, which does something. This does is not like that, but this piece of plastic is always popped out, so... Maybe this will be even better, maybe because it's more round it could be even better, but this thing is pretty, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. The colors are pretty cool, but no metal, they removed the ability, that is kind of lame, but let's, let's just put this Beyblade together, there we go, and there we go, the slopes, once again, the slopes aren't great, I would say the slopes... Actually, I don't know. Let me compare. Let me compare it to Minoboros. The Minoboros slopes are definitely better. But, one thing guys, remember this. Slopes, they do matter. But, because the, th this bay is so wickedly round. I mean, look. Besides like this bump right here. Besides like this bump right here. And this part. This thing is all... And these right here. It's almost perfectly round. So... Like, Maximum Garuda or Garuda G3 did not have great slopes at all, but because it was so round, it was awesome. So, this could be pretty decent because of that. So, just to do a couple of weight tests, because I really want to see how much these bays weigh. We're going to start with Minoboros. Minoboros weighs uh, just almost 37 grams. I thought it was going to go up, but yeah, almost 37 grams. That's what the full combo weighs. Now we're going to weigh the full combo for Rock Tavor R4. And that weighs less. It weighs less than Minoboros at just under 36 grams. But now, guys, we're going to... I want to weigh this really... Oh, whoops. We're going to weigh wedges really quick. This wedge weighs almost 8 grams, 7.75. Takara Tomy weighs 7.16. So the Hasbro one does weigh more, and I think it's just because of just how much bigger this section is. But now we're going to weigh Rock to R4. As you can see, 9.5 grams. That's just almost weightless, guys. Just to compare that to the Takara Tomy one, spoiler alert, there's going to be no competition. Yep, not even half. 19.21, and this one was what again? 9.53 so guys it's not even half the weight of the takara tomi one that's that's pretty crazy you think it'd be like 11 or 12 grams but no it's nine and a half but now guys i think it's time to do a test battle so to get these test battles started of course i'm going to test rock r4 and i'm going to put it against a couple of different bays here. I'm going to put it up against Minoboros, the one that came in the set with it. And I'm going to test it against Z Achilles A4 because that'll be kind of interesting. I want to see how, how, how this does. Will Achilles, who I think is the worst turbo bay, will it be able to defeat Rock to R4? If it does, then oh man, oh man. Three, two, one, go. go. Oh, wow! Guys, I almost got shot by... Oh. Three, two, one, go. Two. Okay, guys. Riding the rails. Is this going to come down to a survivor finish? If it does... Oh, wow! Rock Devore able to take that hit. Um, it went, it slid just a little bit, almost halfway, but not quite. Minoboros was over 
halfway to bursting. So that's pretty interesting. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Okay, here we go. This is Achilles in its rail rush mode. Oh, oh man, a burst finish. How close was Roctavore? Not even close at all. So, like I said, guys, it has, you know, weak slopes, but because it's so round, it's able just to eat those hits really, really well. So, I'm going to put um, Achilles into its battle ring mode, or its slingshock mode, and hopefully, maybe it does a little bit more damage. Three, two, one, go, go. Oh, there's some aggression, but Achilles bursting way too soon. And once again, Roctavore not even close to bursting there. Now, just wow. Honestly, really surprised with how well this bay does against, you know, turbo bays. Um, this might be kind of weird, but I'm going to put it up against a Takara Tomy bay and see how it does. Let's put it up against my Saint Knight Z Achilles, which I did an unboxing of just a little while ago. And we're going to put it in its full-on attack mode. And now this one, guys, is a lot harder to burst, and it has metal. So this will be kind of an ultimate test. Will Roctavore R4 be able to survive? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. All right, let's go. Riding the rails. Oh, big hit right there. Wow. Rock to War is a... Ch oh, <laughs> I was about to say Rock to War is a champ. But really, its weight was the problem there. It was so light that it was just getting bounced around. But it wasn't getting close to bursting at all. And Achilles was halfway to bursting there. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. I did kind of a light launch there, because typically whenever you light launch, it has better burst resistance. So we're going to try that out. Oh, big... Guys, look at these hits! And... No way! Oh my gosh! Roctavore R4 actually won and only slid a little bit. Uh, Achilles went one click, but it still lost by a stamina finish. That's crazy. Guys, I think that Roctavore R4 may be the best Beyblade Burst Turbo Bay right now. Because that was, that was kind of crazy. But we'll just have to do more testing and more battles later on. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this unboxing. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications so that way you know whenever Illinook himself uploads a brand new video join the 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 nook squad the uh the, the nook nation that sounds good i guess and tell me what do you think about roctivore r4 once again i think it is actually pretty decent although i do have to do more battles and more tests battles are going to be coming soon so make sure you're subscribed yet again it's always good to be subscribed but i'll see you guys next time have fun and bail away